What's going on, my pretty pandas? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and I'm cold, alright? So, chill your tits. Actually, really chill your tits because it is freezing outside. Yes, I know I don't have makeup on. I just felt like it was a no makeup day. So, for those of you who were messaging me saying, You should put some foundation on, watch my other videos and you'll see this hot mess cleared up, okay? But yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear my jacket in the video because I am cold. It's cold in my room. It's like an ice box. No, I don't want to put on the heater. It wastes electricity. Don't want to do it. Let's move on. If I sound kind of snappy in this tea talk episode, um, I just had to redo this episode because of technical difficulties. So no bueno. The news is is that instead of tea for this tea talk, I, I since I was just out grocery shopping, I have Coca Cola, and it says share Coca Cola to my love. Oh boy. If only I had a love. Hashtag forever single. But let's get into today's tea talk. We got some juicy tea for you. Ooh, actually, imagine tea as a gummy, like a vitey supplement. A vitey supplement. Tea for you guys. Okay, so let's get into it. First, we're gonna go into more Bethsaida news because Fallout is just hogging the media in the gaming community. By the way, the Game Awards were last night. Did you guys watch it? I didn't have time to watch it. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. States here as the head title for this article, Beth Sienna leaked Fallout 76 customer names, addresses, and contact details. Way to go, Beth Sienna. Way to go. I mean, literally, the article starts out just when you think it couldn't get any worse for Bethsaida of the past few months since Fallout 76 came out. I mean, everybody, it's just like, I, I don't even, I can't imagine being this company right now. Like, this is unreal, the amount of backlash and the amount of just buttheartedness that people are... <laughs> are just receiving because the thing is is that Beth Seda is in the right on one end and then you have the customers who just want the refund who just want to go about their merry way if they don't like a product then they have the right to return it get the refund but Beth Seda is just making everything worse honey <laughs> states that the data protection breach happened last night I received this article uh, two days ago so this happened a couple of days ago as customers filing support tickets with Beth Seda began receiving support tickets from other people too which included usernames addresses and other contact details screenshots posted to Twitter show customers had somehow been given access to details usually confined to Beth Seda's own internal customer support system, which was full of complaints about those damn Fallout 76 bags, which they are actually now going to replace. And it um, it's, it's just goes to show you that you need security on your website. Not just security, you need a good social networking security team. So needless to say, people are really anxious, angry, and frustrated. I know I would be if all of my information was just leaked out. It's really unfair. So yeah, this uh, article goes more into it and there are comments that are attached which I found really helpful as well. So yeah, if you guys want to check out this article, it will be down in the description below for your viewing pleasure. The next one was uh, sent to me by a viewer, which actually the previous one won was as well. <laughs> articles were sent to me by Peter Turner. Thank you so much, Peter, for sending me these articles. Really helps out a lot in narrowing down what to view and what to bring to you guys and what you guys want to hear by way of gaming news. So. In this article, we have another bit of GameStop news, which I'm not surprised about in the least, considering the fact that GameStop is going through mm, what some would call a buyout. GameStop posts a $488 million loss for last quarter, which, I mean... Just gonna let that linger for a second. <laughs> Every year, publishers reveal figures on physical and digital game sales. While in 2013, physical sales were going strong, digital sales, however, were slow. Now, in many cases, certain developers, like those behind Earthfall, are releasing cheaper digital copies on platforms like Microsoft Store, and it's hard to deny that there isn't a massive shift. Now, while digital stores are thriving, companies like GameStop aren't doing well because the physical copies, people really aren't getting as much of anymore, unless you're a collector like myself who wants to get the physical copies so they have kind of a memento piece. 
According to a report by Game Rant, GameStop reported a loss of $488 million in the third quarter of 2018 despite a solid growth from hardware sales. This just goes to show you that it's the same thing that's happening with newspapers, magazines, everything is becoming more digitized and becoming more easily accessible through the web and through these different avenues of purchase than anything. Now, it was also stated in the article that GameStop said there was 134% decline in pre-owned sales, and that might be due to the fact that a lot of games are being bought digitally, like I've stated previous, and that they can't be traded or, you know, you can't stop a GameStop and trade them in for another copy of something else like you could 10 years ago. Or even, no, even like five, four years ago. But up next is our Korean word of the day, and our Korean word of the day today is... Chungguni, which means enough. So if you want to tell somebody enough, just go, Chungguni. Imi Chungguni has saw, which means enough already. Somebody's yapping in your ear saying that BTS sucks. You can just say, Oh, Imi Chungguni has saw. Just give him the hand, walk away, and say, We're currently working on our comeback. Also, another piece of news that I found that was actually pretty interesting. Well, okay, heartbreaking. Uh, well, no, heartbreaking for my wallet, actually, not interesting. Well, okay, also, it's interesting because it's a collaboration between Reebok and BT21. They are making sneakers right now. But hold on, if you want to buy these sneakers, the whopping price, the big, big whopping price, is $285. My heart, my heart. But that is today's tea talk. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every weekday. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I'll not wear the jacket next time because it's really cumbersome to move around in, but so warm. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will talk to you all in Monday's video. Peace.